Hi, I'm Mark Rosati, Culinary Director of Shake Shack. And today we're making our Shack Burger. I always open the bun gently, making sure the bottom and top are still attached with that hinge. What's great about that hinge is when you shut the burger and bite into it, all the juices will start to come out of the back and all that flavor stays with inside the bun. I love toasting potato buns because it gives you great contrast between the pillowy soft outside the bun. I started out Shake Shack about 10 years ago when there was just one location in New York City in a park with no aspirations to grow. We're now at over 130 locations worldwide, and the one thing we've realized as we continue to grow, if you do really good, high-quality comfort food, do it fresh, these things are universal everywhere. Our sauce has become quite iconic amongst our fans. The shack sauce recipe in our new cookbook, we wanted to make it more simplistic than the actual recipe we use at Shake Shack. The recipe at Shake Shack has so many more ingredients, it's very labor intensive. We want to give you a shortcut that's gonna get you very close. Shake Shack is a modern day version of the great classic American roadside burger stand, and we were big fans of the style of taking patties and smashing them into the griddles. It's something we've always admired because it creates this wonderful crispy salty crust. When it comes time to flip the top of the patty, you'll start to see these little grooves develop with the juices bubbling through. Also, you'll start to see little brown bits caramelize around the perimeter. I was a fan of Shake Shack before I ever worked there. And when I first got in line and actually got the Shack Burger myself, I remember taking it out of the bag and looking at it going, I can't believe I just waited an hour and a half to two hours for this. It was so deceptively simple. But what I loved about it, and what I found very inspiring was, there wasn't any crazy wild mushrooms on top or little pieces of foie gras and caramelized onions. It was a good, simple, old-fashioned hamburger, not too dissimilar to what I think a lot of people grew up eating. And I was a fan. I actually went to the Shake Shack for a uh, interview, and to be honest, I did not want to take that job. I wanted to keep going the fine dining route because I kept thinking about a teacher I had in high school. He says, if you don't buckle down and study, you're gonna wind up flipping hamburgers. Like, that was a bad thing. When I went to see them pull the burger meat out of the refrigerator to cook it, I realized that the same thoughtful approach to cooking was very much alive in this little shack. I didn't know you could take this level of thought to cooking a hamburger. Oh, yes.